you can wake up and you can choose to hate your circumstances or you can choose to find the love. I think that's the key. It's not easy. There are plenty of days. There are plenty of days when I wake up and I don't want to, I don't want to find the love. I don't want to find the gratitude. But when you can get there, it's worth it. It's worth it. Today I'm good. Um, I got up really early today um, with the intention of eating breakfast, drinking coffee, meditating, praying, cleaning my room because I knew you were coming, and working out. I got done maybe three of those things. To be honest, like, um, there, there have been days when I don't even want to, you know, I don't even want to do a thing. But I find, for me, when I do um, kind of just, like, force myself to have, like, a little routine and um, try and look a little bit presentable, I do end up feeling a little bit better. Um, so a few months prior to COVID, I had, um, I just moved home from Miami. Okay. So I was mentally and physically in a very dark place. That was the reason that I moved home, um, to speak candidly. I, I was addicted to so many things to so many things and um, and I don't know that I even really realized it when I decided to leave Miami but when I came home and I didn't have those things anymore I realized how bad it was and I was I, was, I think just really unaware of you know, the importance of taking care of yourself. And I, I don't think that I'm alone in that. I think a lot of people, you know, we're raised on do what feels good. Right, so, so if that means this cup of coffee makes me feel awake and energetic and alive, Okay, I'm going to have three. And suddenly, you're shaky, you know? <laughs> or, uh, I'm, I'm anxious, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a drink. And suddenly, you feel relaxed, and you're having fun, and you're laughing. So I'm going to drink until I'm blacked out. And I'm going to do it every weekend of my adult life and many times throughout the week. That's where, I, that's where I was. What I have right here is um, my laundry. I have spent about an hour folding this and this this like method, it's called the KonMari method and it's developed by Marie Kondo, who is like a simplicity expert on like the Japanese way of living, which is keep only um, what sparks joy in your life. Yeah, the concept of keeping only what makes you happy really spoke to me because I realized um, that I had, I had been holding on to a lot of things that like weren't making me happy not only like my stuff I think that my my kind of addiction is like shopping so I do acquire a lot of stuff but also like in my personal life um, in my 
way of thinking and my way of thinking about myself, I realized that I was like holding on to a lot of things and ideas and ways of thinking that no longer served me. I was engaging in super toxic behavior um, with someone who was abusive and I was addicted to him and to the fighting and to the trying to convince him that I was enough, right? Because as a trans woman, I was never, I was never going to be enough for him. He made that very clear. I, um, I was not taking care of my body. I was not taking care of my mind. I was running off of little bumps of thrill, really. And I had hit rock bottom and I was so worn out. I was so tired. Um, But... Oh, and my crystals. Stopping living our life to make a thing happen doesn't work. All it does is make us miserable because we have stopped living our life. So this book is something that I will preface meditation with every day. And it kind of gets me into the headspace that I like to be in when I'm meditating. I feel much more calm. It's just, it's wild how you can like enter a different realm and then like you open your eyes and it's like, wow, you know, it's cool. It's really helpful. I feel revitalized. Life is fast, right? Life is fast. Um, if we don't slow it down, if we don't sit with ourselves, life goes by and I had been so consumed by this guy, by this lifestyle, this, this image, you know, of this cis gender flight attendant, glamorous, traveling the world, beautiful. It was a shell of who I was that I had projected for so long. I never really gave myself a moment just to breathe and sit in the discomfort. Life is not this all the time. There, It's an ebb and a flow. And sometimes, yeah, you're going to feel pain. You're going to feel discomfort. I, I was afraid of feeling that. I was afraid of feeling that for so long. And I think that this pandemic didn't really give me a choice. I had to feel it. I had to sit in my childhood bedroom in the town that I grew up in, in South Jersey. And I had to feel, I had to feel things that I didn't want to feel. I have plenty of tools to get me through the hard days. I like to wake up at an hour that I don't feel like my whole day has disappeared, you know. I will come downstairs, have my oatmeal. Every morning I have oatmeal and a little scoop of peanut butter and I have a cup of coffee. Um, I then come upstairs, I will meditate, I will pray. Um, recently, I've been adding about 45 minutes of online shopping during that time. <laughs> Gonna be honest, it's something I'm working on. It's something I'm figuring out. I will then get started with my day. Typically, I will either do a gym session in the morning or I will run my errands. The, the fitness aspect um, really makes me feel good. It makes me feel better. I also attend a support group. It's something that I held a lot of shame around for a while. Like, oh, 
like I have to I have to go to a 12-step program like why me you know um, but I don't really feel that shame anymore I'm actually really proud that I'm like dealing with the issues that I deal with rather than just ignoring them you know then at the end of my day I will ask my um, music player to play me a little ambient music and I light a candle and I write I give myself that gift of checking in with myself I have learned so much about myself in these pages I have gotten to know myself throughout this process for sure and I will continue to do that the recognition that I have now of my body's worth is far different than pre-COVID this is it You only get one body. I place one hand on my stomach, one hand on my heart. And I thank God and the universe for my mind and my body. Do you love yourself? I'm sorry, I just had to, I had to take a second. And in that, in that moment, I just realized like, the work that I've done to get here Is it okay if I share this? Yeah. Yeah, I do.